everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, my name is Stephanie D. Donato, and um, I am a um, marketing specialist here at Concordia Publishing House. And um, again, just thank you so much for joining me today. Um, we are here today to talk about the um, Enduring Faith Curriculum um, Digital Content Center. So really excited to talk to you about that. I know we've had a lot of questions about it. How do you access? Um, where is the information? All sorts of things like that. So that's what we are here for today to give you some more information and go over a little bit about this digital content center here um, for Enduring Faith. So um, again, my name is Stephanie DiDonato and um, I work here at Concordia Publishing House and my contact information is on the screen. So um, if you have any questions after the webinar is over, please feel free to email me. It doesn't even have to just be about um, the digital content center could be anything related to the Sunday school curriculum or just in general, I am here to help. So that's what we are here to do. Um, but I want to go ahead and uh, get started. So I don't take too much of your time today. Um, just as a brief reminder, um, I do have everyone in listen only mode. I will take questions though at the end. So if you think of something, please feel free to go ahead and uh, write that in. There should be a way that you can actually type in questions. I will try to answer everything at the end. Um, if for some reason I don't answer something, um, it's either that I just didn't have the time or I may not know the answer. And so I want to make sure that I get the correct answer for you. So Hopefully this is really helpful for you today. Um, I We really are excited about our digital content center. It's something that's um, I think going to be really helpful. Just has some nice um, little bonus helps and things like that for you. So let's go ahead and get started. So here we go. All right. So this is kind of just an overview of everything that we are going to be discussing today. Um, so I kind of just want to go over some of the basics again um, of our Enduring Faith system, just in case if you haven't used it yet, um, just to give you a brief overview, I'm going to go over the how to. So that's going to be actually how to access it. Uh, we have had that question a lot. So we're going to go over how you can actually find the digital content. Um, we're going to go over adding people. Um, the way we currently have it set up is that the um, main point of contact or the main account that purchased the um, Enduring Faith Leader Guides, those are the people that actually have access. Um, however, you are able to actually add other staff members, teachers, um, pastors, and things like that so that they can have access as well. So we'll go over um, how to do that. And then we're actually, I'm going to walk you through the websites. We're actually going to go on to the Digital Content Center. and I'm going to go over some of those um, different files and resources that we have online there for you. So let's go ahead and get started. So with the basics, um, again, just most of you probably already have the system, I've already bought that, um, but just kind of want to go over everything um, since it, this is an entire um, system from birth to confirmation, even into adulthood. Um, it is enduring faith. Uh, we want them to um, get their faith long, faith learning for an entire lifetime. Um, that was kind of the goal for Enduring Faith. So we do start off here with our nursery role and our uh, parents and toddlers in the beginnings. Um, then we go into our Sunday school curriculum, which is kind of what we're gonna be going over today, which is um, where the digital content center um, is made for, is for the um, Sunday school uh, lessons. And then we also do, though, have our confirmation curriculum, which is the um, Bible overview, the catechism study, and the apologetics. So as you can see, it really is a complete system so that we can um, have faith learners for life. Um, but again, we're going to today we're going to be focusing on um, the Sunday school, which is the portion that does have this digital content center. All right. So <clears throat> here are the core components, though, of the Sunday school curriculum. Um, it is going to be the leader guides. Um, those are going to be right here. Um, the leader guides are either pre-printed um, that we have shipped to you or they are available um, for, through digital downloads. So you can download them and print them out or you can use them on your tablet, phone, um, computer, whatever works best for you. Um, we have the student guides, which those are going to be different for each age level. Um, the um, elementary students are going to have books. The uh, youth is going to have a um, 
a, a workbook as well. Adult is going to be something that is downloaded. And then um, the early childhood is actually leaflet. So again, the leader guides, the student guides, and then the digital resources. Um, and the digital resources are basically, again, just um, some different tools and um, PDFs and information and resources that we have that are gonna be available available to you that we thought would help in um, your Sunday school teachings. So again, that's just kind of a brief overview of the basics of the Endur Enduring Faith um, curriculum. So how do you access this material? That's a great question. And we have had a lot of um, people asking us about that, which is part of the reason we wanted to go ahead and do this webinar today. So there are actually three ways to access the digital content. The first way is going to be uh, directly through the direct website. Um, it's going to be the um, easiest and most um, forward way. There's also, though, you can get to it through my account on cph.org. And then um, this is probably the least favorite, least used way, but it's right after you purchase it on your um page that says thank you for ordering there actually is a link there as well so we're going to go through those three different ways um, so that you can see all those three different ways that you can access that so the first way is going to be through the direct website and um, what we would have you do is go to visit cph.org slash enduring faith and I have that website address right here for you on the screen um, what you would do then is you would actually click at this lot top left right hand corner sorry <laughs> um sign in um and then it would either automatically sign you in if you are already signed into cph.org or you would just enter your cph.org credentials and that would get you logged into um the enduring faith digital content center so again visit cph.org enduring faith this is a direct website that would take you to this page that you see on the screen click sign in, and then it's gonna sign you in and take you to a page to um, access that digital content. The next way, again, is going to be through my account. So um, this is just a screenshot of the cph.org website. And actually, I'm gonna get my laser pointer out here, that way you can see. Uh, so this is gonna be just a screenshot of the um, main cph.org uh, website. What you would do is you would click uh, login there would be a login um, right here at the top. You don't see it right now. It says sign out, but you would click login. You would type in your cph.org credentials and it'll get you logged in. After that, you would click on my account, which is up here at the top on the top sidebar or on the top navigation bar. After that, you would come to this page and this is going to be your the my account page. So this is kind of an overview of your account for cph.org. Here under digital content, you'll see another link that's called digital content. You would click on that. It's gonna take you to all the digital content that you have purchased. And if you would go ahead and scroll down on that page, this is kind of what you'll see. You'll see Enduring Faith. And this is everything that you have purchased. So you may not have all of these on there since this is a um, test account here. We've purchased everything. Um, so it has you know, the early childhood, elementary, it, Honestly, it does not matter which one you would click on here, but if you click on view, that'll take you to that digital content center. And the last way, again, um, to access the digital content center is going to be right after you purchased your leader guides. You're going to get a thank you for your order page. And down here at the bottom, you can see access your Enduring Faith online content now. So you would just click here or click login and it's going to take you directly there. Again, this is probably going to be uh, the way that is used the least often, but I did want to go ahead and give you that information just so that you have all of the different ways that you can actually access that content. All right. So what's next? How do I add other teachers, other staff um, to this? Again, we've had a lot of questions on this and currently um, only the main contact or the main account that has purchased the leader guide does have access to the digital content center. However, you can add teacher staff email addresses so that they can have access as well. And they would actually just use their own login credentials and they would be able to access um, the information. Um, to do this, though, you would actually need to email us. So the best way is going to be, number one, email order at cph.org, and that's going to go directly to our customer service department. They are the experts in um, adding um, your staff or teachers or other people to um, the account. Two, you would include um, the church name, 
the main email address of the account that's um, that has the main account, sorry, um, the phone number of um, the church or the account, and then the physical address. This is um, just so that we make sure that we do have the correct um, account that we are going to be linking to. Uh, there's a lot of churches that have the same name, so we just really want to make sure that we are getting the correct one. If you do happen to know the um, uh, CPH account number, fantastic, include that there. Um, if not, though, not a big deal. We can get it this way as well. And then the third thing you want to have in that email is to include the new, new email addresses of the teachers and or staff that you want to um, give access to to that digital content center. So if you email order at cph.org, all this information here that is on this screen, um, they will be able to set up those new um, email addresses into that account and they will give you their um, uh, temporary password, everything like that that you're going to need so that the, the other people would have access to that as well. Um, we know this is not perfect. Um, we are looking into um, possibly seeing if there's some better ways to doing this, but at the moment, um, this is going to be the best way to add staff, teachers, and things like that to um, your account. Um, something that we also have heard from um, multiple other um, churches that we have spoken with. What some of them are doing is actually creating an email address for all of their Sunday school teachers or staff members, um, such as, you know, Sunday school teachers at um, Christ Memorial uh, at gmail.com, something along those lines. And then they're having that um, linked to the main account. And and then all the teachers would actually use that same login credential. Kind of makes it um, possibly a little bit easier. Um, it's just, you know, one set of information that you need. So again, just kind of wanted to throw that information out there. That might be an option for you if you are looking to add um, quite a few different teachers to your teachers and or staff um, to the account so that they can access the digital resources as well. So again, Email order at cph.org, include the church name, the main email address, phone number, physical address, and then also include the name uh, or the emails of the uh, new teachers and or staff that you want to add, and that will give them access. Um, fantastic. So now I want to go ahead and go over uh, the different resources that we have available for you on the website. Um, there are a lot of um, fun tools that we have on there, such as music, um, some elementary pages to print out um, and do. So I just kind of want to go over some of these so that you can actually see um, all of the content that is available on the website. So right here, I'm going to get rid of my laser pointer for a moment, maybe if I can. Let me see how I can do this here. Sorry about that. All right. I think I got rid of it now. Sorry about that. <laughs> Thanks for bearing with me. Um, so we're going to go ahead and go to cph.org slash Enduring Faith. So again, once you when you, when you do go to that cph.org slash Enduring Faith, this is going to be the web page that you will be going to. Over here, you will click sign in. And if it doesn't automatically sign you in like it just did for me, um, it would just have you type in your login credentials and then it'll take you to this page. Um, from right here, you can actually jump to a lesson if you want to. Um, however, I am just going to go to that main page, which we're going to go ahead and do view all materials. So this is the Digital Content Center, if you have not seen it yet. Um, hopefully you can see it there. There we go. Okay, now I think you can see it there. Fantastic. Uh, so this is that main um, login, or this is the homepage for the uh, Digital Content Center. And so I just kind of want to briefly go over what's on here, and then we'll um, talk about each different um, content that's on there. So over here, we have these unit common materials. Um, that's going to be on the right-hand side of the screen. Um, those are going to be the different content that is good for um, the entire unit across all different ages. Um, as you can see, there's an attendance chart, the music, planning guides, and things like that. 
On the left-hand side, you have the unit materials. So those are actually going to go by age. And if you do um, click on any one of these here, that's actually going to give you an entire download of all of the um, lessons for that unit. So such as right here would be the early childhood leaders guide. Um, it'd be a PDF of all of the leader guides for the entire unit. If you scroll down a little bit, and there we go. I was like, it should refresh for you here. Um, if you scroll down a little bit, that will actually go to um, unit one, and that is going to show you all of the different lessons for the unit. Um, so lesson one through 14. And if you click on any one of those, that will take you to those lesson materials. And so that's going to to be specific to each lesson so that would be such as the um, early childhood leader guide just for that lesson or it would be the um, you know youth coloring pages just for that lesson um, over here though on the right hand side is going to be the lesson common materials so those are going to be the materials um, that are specific to each lesson um, that we have available for you as well so I'm going to get go ahead and scroll up again though all right make sure that it's uh, caught up for you and um and i'm going to go over some of these things that we have here for you so i'm going to go ahead and open this pdf of the attendance chart again this is um just a just something to be helpful in your um, teaching in your sunday school program we do have an attendance chart um, just to make it easy for you so you're welcome to download that and print it out you actually can as you can see actually type on there for you so you could actually go ahead and type and actually click so you could do it that way as well so print it use it online however you feel um, you can use it so that's going to be the first thing there next thing I want to see is the music that may take a minute to download so I am going to see how long that's going to take and if it takes too long oh it didn't so here is what i just downloaded it's a zip file and this is actually going to be the music that we have suggested um, in the different in the leader guides that you will notice um, these are actually mp3 files so you could um, download them and play them directly from your computer download them to your phone whatever it may be um, but you would actually be able to um, play the mp3 recordings and then we actually did get a lot of feedback that you were looking for the lyrics. So guess what? We put that on here as well for you. Um, so this is going to be a Word document of all the lyrics also for these songs as well. So you can actually copy and paste these into say a PowerPoint presentation. If you wanna do it that way, you could um, print this off and give it to your students. Um, so many different ways that you could do it. That's why we made it a um, RTF document, so basically a Word document, so that you can um, take the lyrics and use them as you see fit. Um, but so there's, you have the music and the lyrics there um, to use as you wish. The next thing, we're going to go over is this pastor guide which i think is really um fun and helpful it's a great tool and resource for pastors um you can um, go on here have your pastor go on here look at this print it out um it's just going to give them a really good overview of um the unit the different lessons that you have going on and some ideas for them on how to support leadership praying teaching all sorts of different things um Again, just a nice handout for pastors um, to get them familiar with, with what is going on in your Sunday school if they aren't already familiar. Next thing I'm going to go over is the planning guide. Let's see if it opens here. Here we go. This is great because it really gives you a nice overview of uh, the entire unit. Um, as you can see here, it gives you the unit summary, um, lessons one through 14, gives you the scope and sequence um, for the three years, really goes in depth on um, things that you might need, some different resources, such as that attendance chart that we have available for you, um, including everyone. It gives you some different helps and tips like that. So it's really just a great resource um, to use for planning for your lessons. And then it also has this nice lesson chart, which gives you an overview of all the lessons um, in each unit. So again, just something nice that you can um, either print out, look at on your phone um, at any time, but just something nice that we have there for you. 
Next thing I want to go over is this planning or planning guide. I'm sorry, timeline. <laughs> I love this. I think um, I'm kind of a history nerd though. So I love history. And um, I think it's really fun to actually show the students how and where um, things that they are seeing in the Bible actually fall throughout history. So as you can see, um, kind of on the left hand side, You've got the pyramids, Stonehenge. So it kind of gives them um, this anchor point on, um, you know, where things are actually, or when things are actually happening in history, such as Adam and Eve, you know, when this happened, when did the fall into sin? You know, God calls Abraham. Again, I just think it's, um, I think it's helpful. I think it's fun to actually connect, um, you know, what they might be learning in day school to what they're learning in their Sunday school um, with God. So just something fun though there and that is also um, in some of leader guides as well and then the last thing in these unit common materials is going to be this unit plan um, and what's great about this is um, so say you're the director or something like that what's really nice about this is you can go ahead and type in here you know we're going to do this lesson on the fifth and then um, the leaders we're going to have Sarah who is going to be doing this lesson for the elementary students. Um, you know, maybe we have um, Joe is going to be doing it for um, the parents and toddlers, however it may be. Um, so we know that sometimes um, in larger churches, you may have a teacher that teaches one week and then another one that is going to be um, the following week. We know it just kind of depends. So we just wanted to have something in there that's helpful for you. Again, you can actually type on this or you can uh, print it out and write in it. So again, just something that's going to be nice and helpful for you. All right, I'll leave that. So that is going to be all those unit common materials that we have available for you. Um, and then I'm going to download one of these uh, unit materials just so you can see what it's like. So we'll just go ahead and do that elementary open that here and again these are going to be all those lessons so um, you have the option of either um, having the print and digital just the digital uh, but everything is going to have this digital um, leader guide what's great about this is say you forgot your leader guide at home guess what jump on here and you can actually um, either print it out or look at it on your phone on your computer you can have it and be prepared um, so i think that's really nice that we have that available for you but again, this kind of just goes over um, some of the different helps and online resources that we have available for you. It's going to go over the entire curriculum. And then it will we'll, um, go over the leader guides and how they are structured, which I think is really nice and helpful. And then it will actually go into um, all the different lessons for each unit, depending on which um, uh, age group you have. So like, again, this is going to be the elementary. This is going to go over um, all the lessons for the entire unit, lesson two. And again, it just keeps going on and on. So just wanted to give you an overview though of what that was there so you can see. So the next thing I'm gonna do is scroll down here um, to the unit and I mean to the lesson materials. Um, so over here, um, we have the leader devotions. And so these are going to be um, for you as leaders, um, just to kind of get you centered and ready for the day and centered in Christ so that you have um, are in the right mindset. We have these leader devotions for you. So uh, they go per lesson. So there's one for each lesson, as you can see here. Um, and this file here is actually going to be for the entire unit. So if you want to print them off ahead of time, um, just download the file and keep it on your phone so that you can um, look at it, you know, right before class, however you want to do it. We do have those here, though, um, just to help you. Uh, next, I want to go over these lesson openings. These are great if you... Um, if your Sunday school is structured where everyone gets together, all the different age levels, and does their opening together, um, these give you some different ideas on ways to actually um, prepare and do that opening. Um, and again, this is going to give you different options for each lesson. So lesson one, lesson two, and so forth. Um, you, of course, are welcome to use this um, even if you don't come together as um, an entire Sunday school. You're definitely welcome to use this as um, in each age level. It's just really 
depending on what you want to do. These are just some things that we have here for you just to help um, as something extra. All right, and then again, we have this lesson summary down here for you as well. Um, what I love about this is um, these are really nice and easy to, you can actually highlight, you or you would be able to highlight and copy and paste. Sorry, I just want to get out of some of all that. Um, the different um, summaries, sorry about that, lost my train of thought. Uh, the different summaries for each lesson. Um, what I really like about this is it's also available in a um, Word document, so you can copy and paste. You could um, use these to send a quick email to your parents ahead of time, let them know what they're going to be learning um, for the week. Uh, their students are going to be learning for the week. You could um, copy and paste and put these into your bulletin so that the whole congregation knows what's going on. Um, you could send out texts. Um, they're just brief summaries of what is going on for the lesson. You could print out the whole thing and give it to your parents just so that they have an idea of what's going on for the week as well. Again, it's just something that we thought would be helpful in uh, a helpful tool for you in your Sunday school curriculum. Then the other things I want to go over here are these Enduring Faith pages. Again, these are going to be um, for the entire unit, so you'll see there's one for each lesson. What I like about these is these are great, again, to print out, and you can actually give these um, to your families, to the parents. Um, on the right-hand side, there's a taking it home, which gives them some ideas of what they can do with their children to take that lesson home for the week, what they could do, you know, throughout the week. Um, this Growing in Faith for Life, which you see on the right-hand side, gives you an idea of what um, the different age levels are actually learning throughout the week or for that week, which is wonderful. Um, again, these actually could be helpful. You could um, put these in your um, bulletins for the week. So many different options. You could you could download this and email them to your families. Lots of different options for you. Again, just something fun that we created um, to help connect um, families, congregations, everything like that to your Sunday school. Um, let's see, elementary activity pages. So these are the fun pages that all the elementary kids love. Who doesn't love them? I still do. Um, so these are going to be your pages that you can um, print out and give to your elementary students. Um, they're the little activities that we have for the week. Um, or for the lessons, I'm sorry. Um, but this again are going to be the, the pages for the entire unit. So it's going to be 14 lessons. All right, and then we've got these youth shareables. I think this is fantastic. It may take a second to download since it is a zip file. But in here, you can see what we have. So we have these, um, they're by lesson, um, and we have a prep question, which is with this nice picture, so kind of something fun. Um, what we kind of envisioned for these is that you can download them and either put them up at a PowerPoint um, in the beginning and then the end of class, because um, we have a prep and then a follow-up question. You could um, actually post them to social media um, ahead of time as your prep question. And then following up, you know, later on on Sunday, you could post that on social media if you have a social media page for your Sunday school. Um, you could send them out through text. You could send them through emails. There's so many different options that you can do with these, but they're just something, um, again, something extra that you can do with your youth students um, that can help connect the lessons. So we have, that's the prep question, and then your follow-up question. After they have learned the lesson for the day, this would be something that you can follow up with. And again, this, these have all of them for the entire um, uh, unit there. And then um, again, this gives you some ideas on what you can do with those different um, uh, questions that we have there for you. All right, so that's going to be the lesson common materials. Now on the right hand side of this page, if you would go to the view lesson materials, like let's say we, we want to go to unit one, let's do it. 
this is what it would take you to. So this is actually going to take you to just the materials only for this lesson. What's nice about this is, again, if you have teachers that are only teaching um, one lesson or, you know, they're teaching the first lesson and then the sixth lesson, you, they can actually just go to those lesson pages and just get the information that they need. So say if you had purchased the early childhood leaders guide, that would be here available for you. You'll be able to download that. And it's just going to be that lesson one unit, uh, that lesson one right there for you. So they can just download that. They could just, you can just download just the leader devotions just for that lesson. Same with the use shareable, same with all of these right here, the lesson summaries and everything. That's all just going to be just that lesson that you had clicked on. Um, again, these are all those unit common materials. They're going to be the same over here. We just kind of kept them over there to kind of keep everything easy for you. So that is a brief overview of all the different um, materials that we have in the um, Enduring Faith Digital Content Center. So hopefully that was helpful for you to just kind of get an idea of what, what digital content content we have out there for you, what's available and what you can use and what you may not want to use. Um, again, they're just there as some different helps and some different ways that we thought that um, would be helpful in your um, teaching. So with that, um, next steps. Some things I encourage you to do is to actually connect with us. Um, on, we have a Facebook group for Sunday school teachers. Um, that's going to be, you can find that either by going to the CPH dot, or the CPH Facebook page under groups. You'll see the one for Sunday school. You also can actually um, just search Sunday school in there and you should be able to find that. Um, you're also welcome to email our Sunday school um, curriculum group at any time, Sunday school at cph.org pretty easy to remember. And then um, if you haven't done so already and you haven't actually purchased any of our materials, I do encourage you to go ahead and download um, the samples that we have available for you. So if you go to cph.org slash sample, you'll actually get samples of the leader guides, the student materials, and the digital materials. So all sorts of different information there for you. And um, again, I'm going to put up my contact information for you. Um, I am going to go over questions, though, that I've seen pop up. Um, so if you, but if you think of a question later on, again, please feel free to reach out to me. I'm happy to help. Um, before I get to questions, though, in case anyone wants to leave, I just want to end in a quick prayer um, just to thank you, thank God for our time that we had here today. So, um, dear Jesus, thank you so much for um, bringing everyone here today to this webinar to learn more about the Digital Content Center that we have here um, for our for our Enduring Faith curriculum. Um, thank you for giving me the knowledge um, that I can share with um, the Sunday school teachers and staff and pastors so that they can in turn share all their knowledge that they have and their love of God. Um, with our kids and with the kids um, around the country and the world and um, so that they can learn more about you and we can share the faith. Um, again, thank you for having everyone here today and in your name we pray. Thank you. So again, I'm going to go ahead and um, look at these questions here. If you didn't get a chance to type something in, please do so. I will be answering. So let's see. Um, it, this Annie asked, is this recorded so we can watch later? Yes. Um, I have, re we are recording it right now and we will actually post um, to YouTube and then I will send out a link to everyone who uh, attended the webinar, who didn't get a chance to attend the webinar. So everyone will be available to see that, or you can just go onto YouTube and um, search for CPH and you'll be able to watch this webinar at any time. Feel free to share it as well if you know, um, if you have any other uh, teachers, pastors, um, staff, and everything like that. Uh, next question is, when should we expect the next unit to arrive if we're on a subscription? And that actually will be arriving this month. Yay! Um, I Don't quote me on it, but I want to say it is around the 15th that it's going to be shipping out. Please don't quote me on it, but Annie, I will get back to you and let you know um, exactly when that is. So I should have your email address. Where do you find the early childhood sticker pages? Are they a download? So no, those early childhood sticker pages are actually going to be, um, those come with the early childhood leaflets um, that you would buy. 
So you would buy one um, for each child and that's where the stickers will be. Um, it'll be kind of hard to download the stickers and then you'd have to print them on a sticker page. So a little difficult there. Um, so those will actually be um, in the student leaflets um, that we ship out. So let's see. Oops, sorry, I can't read the whole question here. I'm trying to get it. Okay, this is a good question. Carol, until we can provide access to all of our Sunday school teachers, how can we send the youth pictures and music to the staff that teaches those age groups? A um, couple of different ways. Um, depending on how large the files are, the music is probably gonna be the most difficult one to actually send out to the teachers um, just because of the size of the file. So um, honestly, the best way to do the music might be to either um, you download and then um, have, you could probably get like a zip drive or a flash drive, whatever you want to call it, so many different names. Um, you could actually plug that into your computer and download everything onto there. Those should have enough um, capacity to do that. And then you could um, give, hand that to your teachers and then they could download it to their computer. Um, for some of the other files, the PDFs and things like that, um, those small pictures, those, those aren't very big files. Um, so you could actually download them and you should be able to attach them to an email um, or, you know, you could uh, set up a um, Google Google Drive. That's actually a great way to do it as well. Um, you could download those and set up a Google Drive to where other teachers have access to that Google Drive as well. So a few different ways. Again, nothing I know that's horribly ideal, but um, hopefully one of those would work for you, Carol. So, and hopefully that was helpful a little bit. All right. Well, I don't see any other questions. Um, again, oh, actually one just popped up. Let's see. Let's see. Um, so no, it's the question is, are these lessons des designed to be short? The lesson content is thin and not very detailed. The growing Christ is much more detailed. So no, the lessons are, um, they're actually, you know, made to be an entire lesson. Um, wh what we really tried to do with this curriculum was make it so that you could really tailor it and, um, tailor it to what your students need and what they're looking for. So we have a lot of different ideas that you can add in, that you can use, um, you know, you can kind of pick and choose the different things that you want to use per lesson. Um, on the back of the leader guides, we do have a great section where if you do say that you are, um, you know, you think you have a little extra time at the end of the lesson, um, we have a different, we have a few different ideas on um, I, crafts or, um, you know, things that you could do at the end, and they actually tell you different um, how long they would take as well. So um, say you had 15 minutes um, at the end, there's going to be an option for you to kind of add in as needed. So um, so they really are designed to be full lessons. Again, we just know that some people breeze through things, other people take a little more time, just depending on how your students are, what your um, Sunday school is like. Again, though, we are really trying to make this um, whole curriculum something that you can make your own and make fit with your Sunday school and your teachers and your students. So hopefully that was a little helpful. Um, can the prep and follow-up pictures be printed? Absolutely. Um, you are welcome to print those out. Um, you would just you could send them to Kinko's or whatever it's called these days, FedEx, I think. I know I'm back in the day there. Um, you could print them out if you have a printer. Yes, but they you can you can absolutely print those pictures. It'd just be like printing anything else. So all right, again, I think that's all the questions I have. If um, you have a question I didn't get to, which I think I got to all of them, um, please let me know, email me um, if you didn't get a chance to get your question answered. And um, I am happy to answer anything that I can. So again, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope this was helpful um, so that you know how to access the content center, see what's all on there and how to add people as well. So thank you again. and. Um, Enjoy the rest of your Wednesday.